This is Sports Center. Brittany Griner explodes for a record 50 points, and the Big East battle turns into a triple overtime thriller. LeBron James in the Heat looking for a 15th straight win. Kyrie Irving returns as Carmelo Anthony goes down, and the Nuggets send a message to the rest of the NBA. NFL Dwayne Bow gets paid in Kansas City. Plus, who got tagged in the NFL and who didn't? And a can't miss conversation with Joe Flacco. The bottom line is, is I feel like this is what I'm worth. This is what the organization also feels that I'm worth. Plus, we go all access all over campus with Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Manziel on SportsCenter. I gotta take a nap, though. I'm tired. I'm getting old. 20. So, Diggins big in her final game at Notre Dame. Brittany Griner also played her last home game at Baylor Monday night, and she went out in style as well. Lady Bears taking on Kansas State, trying to wrap up a second straight unbeaten season in the Big 12, and Griner had the whole repertoire working. Spin move in the lane. Baylor came in with 54 straight wins at home. Griner jumper in the foul, and then two deep in the post, and then once again, she gets fouled, but still scores. 22 points with 10 of 14 in the first half. Second half, Baylor up seven. They've been asking her, when are you going to get a dunk at home? Right about now. Her 14th career dunk, but her first at home since her freshman year. And her coach, Kim Mulkey, said everybody been hoping she would get one. Throw it down before she left. Her last 10 dunks were all on the road, but she got one there. And then in the post, a baseline jumper was just a problem for Kansas State all night. She just got it at will. She goes baseline there and then back down into the post. And then if, if necessary, she can put it on the floor. She does there. That's 44 points. She can just shoot over shorter defenders. And, and let's face it, just about every defender is, is shorter. She stands 6'8". She shot 21 of 28 from the floor. Big 12 record, 50 points for Griner. And Baylor wins it 90 to 68 to go 18 and 0 in the Big 12 once again. And she moves into second on the all-time Division I scoring list. She trails only Jackie Styles now, but 271 points. Now Baylor has a maximum of nine games left. Griner would need to average just north of 30 points per game to become the all-time leading scorer in women's Division I history.